the room specialist's leave schedule has indicated that, with our new $1.101 billion budget, it may take quite a while before things proceed as planned. If everything unfolds as anticipated, the journey to Proxima B is expected to span around 20 years. However, in a more realistic scenario, it could take a few years just to confirm the presence of any life on that planet. The ongoing research into whether we are truly alone in the universe continues to be fueled by discoveries made with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. This telescope has already uncovered numerous fascinating phenomena from beyond Earth, potentially bringing us closer to answering this age-old question. Our fundamental human curiosity about space, coupled with feelings of isolation, drives us to search for other forms of life. Although we are just tiny specks in the vast expanse of the universe, we may be inching closer to answers. But are these answers what we expect, or are they unsettling revelations? Join us as we dive into the latest discoveries in the fields of planetary systems and exoplanets, embarking on a journey that might require us to confront truths we're not quite ready to comprehend. In 2021, scientists made a monumental advancement, potentially one of the most significant breakthroughs in the history of science, with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. This sparked an intriguing question about the capabilities of future technology. Could advanced telescopes detect artificial lighting on distant planets? such as Proxima b, the closest known exoplanet to Earth, located 4.25 light-years away. Proxima b is known to have a permanent day side and night side, similar to the Moon. An advanced civilization on Proxima b might utilize the energy from the day side and transfer it to the night side through photovoltaic cells that convert sunlight into power. A study by Manus Ving and colleagues suggested that a vast array of solar panels could be installed on the day side, with future telescopes linked to these panels. With JWST's upgrades, our ability to search for artificial light on planets like Proxima b has significantly expanded. The fact that JWST was able to detect such light in 2024, thanks to its enhanced capabilities, marks a revolutionary moment. It's possible that JWST has uncovered the very lights we've been seeking, potentially propelling humanity into a new phase of exploration. Let's take a closer look at planets and exoplanets to understand how this discovery became a reality. Throughout recorded history, humans have pondered the vastness of the universe, asking who we are, where we came from, and where we are headed. Despite technological progress, these timeless questions remain as complex as ever. Some scholars might argue that we are still at the early stages of understanding our place in the cosmos while astronomers might eagerly share the latest findings made possible by sophisticated instruments. These tools, often overlooked by the public, represent humanity's ongoing progress in our quest to explore the universe and find our place within it. One of the most important advancements in this endeavor is the creation of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, a tool that holds immense potential to answer some of humanity's most profound questions. JWST represents our attempt to probe the mysteries of space, seeking answers to ancient queries such as, are we alone? What is our purpose? And where are we going? This powerful infrared telescope is actively working toward these goals. If you're wondering about Proxima b, it's sometimes referred to as Proxima Centauri b or Alpha Centauri b. This exoplanet is considered super-Earth and orbits an M-type star. You might not be familiar with the term super-Earth, so let's clarify. Super-Earths are planets that are larger than Earth but smaller than gas giants like Neptune or Uranus. They can be composed of rock, gas, or a combination of both. These planets vary in size from twice the mass of Earth to several times its mass. Proxima b is one of these super-Earths and, like other exoplanets, orbits outside of our solar system. The first hints of exoplanets emerged in 1917, but it wasn't until 1992 that the first confirmed discovery stunned the scientific community. Another exoplanet, first identified in 1988, was confirmed in 2003. As of April 1, 2024, there are 5,653 confirmed exoplanets across 4,161 planetary systems, with 896 systems hosting more than one planet. Many of these exoplanets orbit around M-type stars. To understand M-type stars, it's important to note that they are the smallest stars in the main sequence and are commonly known as red dwarfs. 
These stars are abundant in the Milky Way, but their faint light makes them hard to detect. M-type stars have temperatures around 3,000 Kelvin, which is cooler than many other stars. Proxima B's host star, Proxima Centauri, has a mass about 1.07 times that of Earth. Interestingly, Proxima B completes one orbit around its star in just 11.2 days, much shorter than Earth's 365.25-day orbit. Proxima Centauri is rather dim, emitting only 1.6% of the sun's total visible light output, with most of its energy emitted as infrared radiation, which accounts for over 85% of the total. Proxima B orbits its star at a distance between 0.045 and 0.056 astronomical units, which is much closer than Earth's distance from the Sun. Discovered in 2016, Proxima B has captured significant attention for several reasons. It's the closest known exoplanet to our Sun, just 4.2 light years away. While this may seem far, it's actually relatively close in the context of the vast universe. Proxima b is part of the Alpha Centauri system, a triple star system. Despite Proxima Centauri's faint light, the Alpha Centauri system remains one of the brightest objects in the night sky, trailing only Sirius and Canopus. What makes Proxima b especially intriguing is its potential habitability, as it lies within its star's habitable zone, where liquid water could exist. This raises the possibility of life on the planet making astronomers eager to study Proxima b and other similar exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope is crucial in this effort, as it aims to achieve four primary objectives. Studying the light from the first stars and galaxies formed after the Big Bang, investigating the formation of stars and planetary systems, understanding the development of stars and planets, and exploring the origins of life. As JWST continues to study exoplanets like Proxima b, we are getting closer to achieving these ambitious goals. The search for exoplanets and extraterrestrial life is not only about answering scientific questions, but also about satisfying humanity's deep-seated curiosity. Throughout history, humans have been driven by an unquenchable desire to explore the universe, both animate and inanimate. This curiosity led to the creation of the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI an ongoing effort to detect signs of life beyond Earth. SETI is one of humanity's most ambitious endeavors, like a cosmic game of hide-and-seek with our planet, searching the vast universe for any signs of intelligent life. SETI began in the 1960s when astronomer Frank Drake first detected radio signals from distant stars. Although this groundbreaking discovery did not lead to contact with extraterrestrials, it marked the beginning of a serious effort to detect such signals. Despite many challenges, the search continues and recent technological advancements, like the JWST, bring us closer to potential breakthroughs. As the JWST continues to study exoplanets like Proxima b, there's growing optimism that we may soon find definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life. If such evidence is found, it would fundamentally alter our understanding of life, intelligence, and the universe itself. Even if no direct evidence of life is discovered, the detection of artificial signals or lights from distant planets would be profound, suggesting that intelligent life could be far more common than we previously thought. The excitement surrounding these discoveries is palpable, but they also raise significant questions about how humanity would react if extraterrestrial life were confirmed. Would we approach this discovery with scientific rigor, respect, and curiosity, or would it provoke fear and uncertainty? History has shown that humanity often reacts unpredictably to major revelations, particularly those that challenge deeply held beliefs. This uncertainty brings forth moral and ethical questions. If we were to encounter intelligent extraterrestrial life, what responsibilities would we have? What ethical framework should guide our interactions with other life forms, whether microbial or advanced? These complex questions will likely play a central role in shaping our understanding of our place in the universe as we continue to explore. As we venture deeper into space, the possibility of encountering extraterrestrial intelligence or life introduces both exciting prospects and profound uncertainties. The discovery of even microbial life elsewhere would dramatically alter our understanding of biology, evolution, and the nature of life itself. It could support the idea that life is a common occurrence in the universe rather than a rare phenomenon. 
However, the moral and philosophical implications would be enormous. How should we approach beings from another world? Should we attempt communication? Or would that pose unforeseen dangers? The risks of contamination, biological and cultural, are not trivial. If such an encounter were to happen, what protocols would need to be established to ensure the safety of both parties? This scenario of discovering alien life forces us to confront difficult questions about human nature and responsibility. Would our technological superiority give us the right to intervene or influence extraterrestrial civilizations, or should we adopt a policy of non-interference? The potential existence of intelligent life elsewhere challenges humanity to reconsider its place in the universe. For centuries, humans have regarded themselves as the pinnacle of life on Earth, but the discovery of extraterrestrial civilizations could shatter this perception, humbling us and compelling us to recognize our limitations. Moreover, the implications of such discoveries on society would be far-reaching. History is full of instances where the discovery of new frontiers or life forms has caused social upheaval. The discovery of extraterrestrial life would likely ignite debates on political, religious, and societal levels. Some people might be excited, others fearful, and some might even dismiss the findings. Governments and international organizations would need to work together to determine how to best handle this information, creating frameworks for cooperation, regulation, and perhaps even defense. The search for extraterrestrial life also touches on existential questions. What does the discovery of life beyond Earth say about our purpose? Are we just another link in a vast cosmic chain, or do we have a unique role in the universe? These reflections would not only influence scientific discourse but would also shape art, philosophy, and culture. Humanity's place in the cosmos has long been a central theme in literature, cinema, and art, and the reality of extraterrestrial life would inspire new generations to reconsider what it means to exist in a universe teeming with other sentient beings. On a scientific level, the search for extraterrestrial life presents thrilling possibilities for exploration. As technology advances, we are increasingly able to detect potentially habitable planets, study their atmospheres, and analyze the chemical signatures of life. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope allow us to identify biosignatures, such as oxygen, methane, or other compounds associated with biological processes. The discovery of such signatures on distant exoplanets would mark the beginning of a new era in scientific inquiry. By studying these exoplanets, we could gain insights into the conditions that foster life and how life might adapt to environments vastly different from our own. The development of space exploration technologies has also brought us closer to the possibility of interstellar travel. While current propulsion systems are not yet capable of reaching even the nearest stars within a human lifetime, breakthroughs in fields like quantum propulsion or antimatter could one day make interstellar voyages possible. As we push the boundaries of what's feasible, the dream of traveling to planets like Proxima b, or even farther, becomes less a science fiction fantasy and more a long-term goal. While Proxima b remains the closest exoplanet that could harbor life, it is far from the only one. Thousands of other exoplanets, many of which reside within the habitable zones of their stars, have expanded the possibility of finding life across the galaxy. Some scientists argue that the sheer number of potentially habitable planets suggests that life could be abundant throughout the Milky Way. If this is true, the likelihood of discovering intelligent life during our lifetimes may be higher than we once believed. However, the challenge lies not only in detecting these planets but also in understanding their environments and determining whether conditions are truly conducive to life as we know it. One of the most fascinating aspects of this search is the possibility that life elsewhere in the universe may not resemble anything we recognize. Earth life is carbon-based, but extraterrestrial life might use entirely different biochemical systems. Life on other planets might be based on silicon or might even thrive in environments we consider inhospitable, such as on gas giants or moons with subsurface oceans. This broadens our understanding of biology and highlights the adaptability of life. In addition to searching for life, the quest for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, continues to inspire excitement and speculation. If we were to detect a signal from an advanced civilization, it would not only confirm that we are not alone, but could also offer an unprecedented opportunity to learn from a more advanced species. However, the question remains, 
Are such civilizations out there? And if so, why haven't we received any signals? The Fermi paradox, why? Given the vastness of the universe, we haven't yet detected extraterrestrial civilizations, remains one of science's greatest mysteries. It could be that intelligent civilizations are rare, or perhaps they deliberately avoid contact with us, or that they rise and fall before we have the chance to detect them. As we venture forward into the unknown, one thing is clear. The quest for knowledge about extraterrestrial life is much more than a scientific endeavor. It is a journey of self-discovery. Through our search of the stars, we not only seek to understand what lies beyond, but also to gain a deeper understanding of ourselves. The discovery of alien life, whether microbial or intelligent, would compel humanity to confront its place in the universe and challenge the assumptions we hold about our uniqueness. Ultimately, this pursuit of knowledge is part of a larger journey. A journey to answer the questions that have always haunted us. Are we alone? And if not, what does it mean for humanity to share the cosmos with other beings?